All right. Well, welcome everyone to the When's the Last Time You Heard from Your Employee Benefits Broker webinar. My name is Darice Frencha, and I am the owner of the Benefit Boutique, a full service woman owned um, employee benefit brokerage that specializes and focuses on small businesses that have less than 50 employees. And for all of my 10 KSB Goldman Sachs alumni, hello to you guys and, and to all of my other former or my um, my other woman-owned businesses. So let's go ahead and get started. The reason I wanted to um, launch this webinar is because small businesses usually don't hear from their broker that often. And that's because they're a smaller company. The broker may have a bigger client. And I'm not trying to talk about anybody or put anybody on blast. But a lot of times I, my, I find that my small businesses don't know what's really going on with for the next year. So if you are here you're probably interested in, and you may not have heard from your broker. So we are going to talk about what the game changers are for small businesses as far as employee benefits in 2024. So the agenda, we're going to briefly go over what the traditional challenges of employee benefits are. are. Then we're going to jump right into the game changers. We're going to talk about the carriers and some benefits, and then we will have it open for Q&A at the end if anyone has any questions. But here's the problem. We all know this. I can't fix it. No broker can fix it. It can be very expensive to offer employee benefits, especially on the medical side. What happens is a company spends a lot of time and hours in, in uh, recruiting, onboarding, training, and then what happens is the employees still leave. And if they leave within that first year, that company has lost up to three and a half times that annual salary for that one person that didn't stay on board. And one of the biggest things, I know if you're on here, you already know this, one of the biggest reasons employees will leave is because they're don't have a, a nice variety of employee benefits to choose from. And then here's the other challenge. Smaller businesses have a bigger challenge in offering a large variety of, of, of uh, employee benefits because of the contribution requirements, employee contribution requirements, or the employee participation requirements. So what do they do? They narrow it down to maybe offering one or two or even three voluntary benefits and then the staff is not getting what they need. And why aren't they getting what they need? Because your staff now is a multicultural, multi-generational um, staff. They have different needs, different desires for their benefits. Sorry about that. My, my uh, PowerPoint is going on automatic. So what is the answer? Our, what we have been doing for the last few years is recommending and working with carriers that will allow small, that are small business friendly and will remove those issues with contribution and participation. So the answer is for your very um, diverse staff, offer as much as you can. Definitely offer medical, and we're going to talk about medical next. But imagine, I apologize with my slides, imagine if you could offer 10 employee benefits from life insurance to short-term disability to dental, vision, critical illness, legal protection, identity theft protection. And what's really, really, really popular these days is the new forms of telemedicine that include all kinds of specialists from dermatology to mental health, nutrition, and more. That's a game changer right there because your multi-generational um, staff that has different ages, different cultures, different values will get to choose what they want. We call it customizing the benefits, right? That's the importance. We customize everything else. We customize our music list, our movie list, our coffee. Well, think about having a variety of employee benefits so that your employee can customize what's important to them and their family. So now how, how are we doing this? Like I said earlier, we're working specifically with carriers that are small business friendly. And this, uh, this, this program that I just talked about, having that variety, it's really called defined contribution, but for employee benefits. It's what that means is the employer is deciding on what contribution he wants to make, he or she wants to make, and then they give the employee the buffet of benefits, right, to choose from. So let's talk about the one carrier. I want to talk about one carrier that has made this a game, has changed the game, and they are leading the industry. 
because again, they have removed the employee participation requirements and they have removed um, relaxed the employer contribution requirements, meaning they let the employer decide what they want to offer at least $25 a month per employee. And they can offer more, but they can't go lower. So that's huge to be able to offer these six benefits no employee participation. I'm going to say it one more time because that's the biggest hassle. I know some of you have been around in your office and you're running around saying, hey, we need two more people to participate in dental or we can't offer it. No. Again, removed the employee participation requirements and relaxed the employer contribution so that you can determine your budget. The, this carrier is called Companion Life. They've been around 50 years and they just started this approach about uh, six or seven years ago. Now, the other thing I love about offering the variety is because you won't be wasting your time, right? I have had, before I started working with these carriers, I've had several personal personal experiences where we uh, I get a, a new client, we rolling out um, benefits and they can't get enough participation. So I feel bad because that we couldn't even roll anything out. They feel bad. It's a waste of their time and money, right? But with this approach, because we get 100% participation. That means two things. It was worth the time that we put in, me and my part, my client, my partner, that we put in to designing this, these um, benefit packages. And the second thing is the employees are happy. Everybody got something that they wanted. That's again, customizable to their family. Another great um, design with this approach is its retention strategy. This employee, I know this is a busy screen, a busy slide. The green shows that everybody participated in something and it might've been something, it was something different, but they all participated. This also shows how this company used the retention model, which you guys are probably already doing, may or may not be doing, but based on how long the employee has been with them, they increase their contributions, both medical and voluntary benefits. So you stay longer, you get more money towards your benefits. And the other beauty is that sometimes the employees don't spend their whole contribution. So the employer is coming in under budget. So I love how this addresses so many things. We're not wasting time or money. Employees are happy. And guess what? We might even come in under budget. So that was my, that's my, one of the biggest things I love to talk about as far as beefing up your benefits package. When you already have medical, you can add these um, voluntary and supplemental all within your budget. And it's easy to uh, roll out because of the relaxed participation or the removed participation. The other thing, let's switch over now into level funded carriers. This has been blowing my mind for the last couple of years. And what blows my mind is two things. How many small businesses don't know that it exists? It's called level funded carriers. The other thing is how much money I have saved several of my clients. And we're talking about 20, 30% in medical premiums by going level funded. So what is level funded? Get your notepads out. You want to take notes for this. How this works and the best way I like to explain it is the carriers, there's Aetna, there's Allstate, there's a few others. They are going to look at the true health history of the group, okay? They're not going by age and zip code like fully um, insured carriers are. They're looking at age and zip code, boom, they're looking at all their numbers and how much they spend in that area. And then they spread out the, uh, the they spread it out amongst all of the policy holders. True health of the group means that the carrier is going to take, it requires a little more work, I will say that, but we're going to send out a survey, a health survey to your employees, no more than 12 to 14 questions, depending on the carrier, electronically, easily, and confidentially, right? And based on the true health of the group, these carriers are going to um, quote you based on the true risk that they see for coming. So the beauty is, this is, let me give you the my layman's term explanation, right? I wish State Farm would give me quotes based on my true claim history, because I've been with them for 20 years and never filed a claim. 
you would think that, oh, I am low risk because I have never filed a claim. But what does State Farm do? They look at my age and my zip code and they spread the risk out amongst everybody in my zip code based on, they spread out that risk. So I'm paying the same thing as somebody else that may have had two or three accidents, or I'm not paying what's based on my true, my true claim history. So what that means is, this is how we're able to, with relatively healthy groups, save them money. Now what's put in place is a stop loss, which means that the employer is protected. Let's say they do send in $50,000 in premiums, but that year we they do have someone that's sick and they and the carrier pays out $150,000 in claims. That is not the employer's um, concern, right? You are the employer will never come out of pocket more, right? But the possibility is saving money. So let's reverse that example. Let's say, oh, this company send, does send in $50,000 in premium that year, but there's only $25,000 in claims paid out. The level funded carrier will refund half of the unused funds as a credit to the employer the next year. It's like, are you kidding me? This is the game changer because this, this insurance company is using true risk and passing those savings back to the small group or the employer, this is not just small group, so that they can have a credit towards their next year. So let me show you my example, my most recent example. And this is, again, this is a little crowded, but it's, it's worth showing it to you and I will break it down. So this is one of my clients. They were on Blue Cross Blue Shield, okay? They had a silver plan and then they had an HSA plan. Now, if you go across here, okay, and then here are the, comp, the, comp, the comps, the comparisons for Aetna. We ended up converting them over to Aetna, okay? Effective 9-1, right? And so what we do here at the Benefit Boutique is I'm looking to see the coverages to make sure I'm giving you the same coverages. So they had an a individual deductible, $37.50. We got Aetna, $4,000. That went up a little bit. On their HSA, it was $6,900. We got that one down a little bit, okay? So we're looking at these coverages. We're, we're beating them, or sometimes they are a little higher. The co-pays went down a little bit here on the PPO. Um, the co-insurances, we went down. We went down on the co-insurances. But let me share with you the rates. Look at these very similar plans. Employee only was $940. Level funded Aetna 615 when we compare the PPOs. Spouse and um, employee and spouse, we saved them 300. Employee and child, 600. Employee and family, 700. And look at how it compares on the HSA as well. We're talking about $300 there. On the family, employee plus family, we saved them $1,000 a month, guys. And remember, again, for the employer, if they have a great year and there are unused um, funds, that money be, will be sent back to the employer as a credit for their next year. Now, what you're saying, okay, what if there is a bad year? Then your, your rates are going to go up and or you may and you may end up going back to a fully insured carrier like Blue Cross or whatever. But let's say you have four or five, six great years. That's a lot of money. You're saving your employer, you the employer and your group. And with this particular case study, the employer decided to still make the same employer contribution. But and that saved the employees a lot, even a lot more money. And so he did not go up on cost, but he, we were able to provide savings and value for his employees. So that's the biggest thing in medical I want everybody to know about, right? This is the game changer if it's a relatively healthy group. Now let's talk about PEOs because I know a lot of small businesses use PEOs and they are great because you get to centralize everything in one spot, right? You got your, um, your payroll, your benefits, everything. You may have the HR services. It is a phenomenal concept. 
What I want to bring to the attention of you all is that sometimes you're not saving as much as you possibly could because they are up charging you on the service fees. I'm gonna say that again. The service fees can cannibalize your savings, okay? And again, I'm not being mean or poo-pooing on the PEOs. I'm bringing these things to your attention. It's because I've, I've won a lot of cases, a lot of new comp, new groups, clients, uh, because after we looked at, we pulled out their benefits, their benefits were actually cheaper because they weren't even in the pool. We were able to get them a better rate sometimes. And then once we looked at the service fees, they, we saved them even more money. So be very careful and mindful if those service fees are cannibalizing the savings you think you're getting with your group benefits and make sure you're being pooled in the bigger group because that's what the PEO is supposed to be doing, getting you large group rates for your small business. Sometimes that was not happening. So here is something else that is a big game changer for small businesses. Like I say, I focus on the small businesses and this is called Blue Cross's holi participation holiday. So for example, because I do focus on small businesses, sometimes we lose groups because we can't make that minimum participation. S several times my groups that are 20 or under, they wanna offer benefits, but we can't get 50% of their employees to participate. So what happens is I've got like seven groups that we are going to be able to set up and offer Blue Cross Blue Shield to their employees because it is participation holiday. What does it mean? Blue Cross Blue Shield removes the minimum participation requirement and the employer contribution requirement. Now listen, is I would not advise you to think that, oh, you're gonna offer Blue Cross Blue Shield or offer any kind of medical benefits and not make a contribution, right? That kind of can kill the deal, right? That's not showing love to your employees. I'm just gonna put it that way. But let's say you are a small company and you have not been able to make that participation. This is your time. You do not have to have 50% participation, right? It could be 20, 33%, whatever. And those, again, that happens a lot. Now you do have to be a virgin group. This has to be your first time offering benefits. And even if you're a small, small company, because I have a lot of two, I have a lot of um, self-employed um, entrepreneurs and they don't have employees, but they want medical. Yeah, this is a great way for, for, their, for their family. This is how they can do that. Sorry, guys. All right. So this only happens once a year during the holiday and it will be effective 1124. If someone is interested in this, then we need to get together like tomorrow to start getting the quotes and things like that done. All right. So we talked about some carriers and some advantages and things like that. Now let's look at more benefits. Telemedicine is a great has expanded. It is a great standalone benefit. Even if you offer a robust um, medical plan, I still recommend, and I always recommend all of my groups to put in the standalone tele telemedicine through Healthiest You because it's only 16 bucks a month. There are no co-pays, okay? They include mental health, nutrition, and dermatology. And let me just turn this off. Sorry, guys. And even neck and back care. This is huge. No co-pays, okay? The mental health is seven days a week. And I believe that's extremely important because if you are feeling like you need to speak to someone, picking up that phone and getting an appointment immediately is a can be a game changer too, okay? The uh, medical is 24 seven. That's huge. Again, no copay on that as well. Now, I also do wanna um, recommend for our small businesses that to highly consider higher deductibles, okay? And that's only because only 20% of us ever meet that deductible. And it's gonna lower your rates. The higher the deductible, the lower the rate, right? So 
don't get nervous about it, right? And here's the thing, you got an HSA that you can put in place just in case that one year there is a car accident or somebody does get met, um, diagnosed with something, but only 20% of us ever meet our deductible. It can lower the rates just across the board for that. Now, I do want to talk about life insurance because through the employers, it can be guaranteed. It is, it should be guaranteed. You should be having a carrier that's guaranteeing life insurance for your employees and their spouses and their dependents. 50% of Americans cannot get life insurance due to maybe a financial bankruptcy or their lifestyle. They, they participate in, in dangerous hobbies or honestly have been sick and cannot get insured. You would be the employer of choice. If you can get your employees and or their spouses that cannot get coverage, if you can do that, then that's definite retention. That's definitely showing them the love. And then short-term disability. So let's go back to what I said at first. A lot of times companies are thinking everybody, you know, life and dental. And this is, I do see this in the industry. Life and dental are like the two most offered voluntary benefits. And they're usually the only two. I want to go over and emphasize voluntary and supplemental again, because we have the carrier where we can bundle all five of those together. Okay. And you can give your employees the choices that they, that they deserve. So with short-term disability, this was huge to me. Uh, 2019, it's a little old, but it's still a uh, who knows what it is now, now that we have even had more uh, economical challenges these days. But the bankruptcy filings were set, um, almost 78% because the debtor lost their income and didn't have any way to replace their income because they got sick or hurt, okay? A fifth of your staff may be growing their family and will need to take off once they have a new baby, the women, obviously. And then 40% of U.S. households do not have enough saved to cover at least three months. Short-term disability to me is a no-brainer. I wish we could make it mandatory to be offered. Now, last but not least, as we are closing up, so I can um, keep it open and see if there's any questions. If you are not administering your benefits on a portal, I need to welcome you to 2023, okay? <laughs> <laughs> having a portal I'm laughing but that's very serious do you I I can't I, I next time I am going to quantify or get the numbers I know ease probably has it or whoever you're using but these portals save your staff time and they save my staff time and they make the enrollment process smoother for everybody for your staff my staff um in your HR staff too right so at the Benefit Boutique, we offer a complimentary online portal through Ease so that we can, pun is intended, so that open enrollment can be fun and easy, okay? we are, It's complimentary for the benefits admin part. It's also what's complimentary is the employee onboarding. So again, if you are still stuck on paper, I need to come on and bring you into 2023, okay? 2024, whatever, whenever you're ready to start working together, because this should be a streamlined, easier process. The employee onboarding, we can also offer you that complimentary. So you can offer, um, send offer letters, get, you know, sign the W-499 forms, direct deposit, all of that. Now, of course, Ease has more integrations. If you want to get Ease HR or um, integrate with your payroll provider. That part is not complimentary, but there is a deep discount for the clients of the Benefit Boutique um, if you if you did want to integrate that much. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. This is one of my favorite quotes from one of my clients, Beth Watson at the United Tarrant Way. She said, let's create a work environment that helps your employees become the best version of themselves on and off the clock. And when she was talking about that, she was talking about the variety of employee benefits, um, adding like the legal protection, helping people get their wills done, um, having the identity theft protection, because so many of us have become victims or will become victims, just those different variety. So you can customize, so your employees can customize their employee benefits package, but you got to be able to offer it. Let's make benefits fun. That's one of, that's our tagline. And if you are listening and watching the replay here and you do want a quote um, for the companion life, 
portion, they make it so easy. All I need is your name, your address, the industry, and the number of employees for the um, of the company. And if you'd like a level funded or fully insured, if you want us to take a look at your medical, you can send me that information. I would love to have a conversation with you as well so we can um, just have a discovery on what your pain points are. But hey, you can email me. If you don't want to do all that, <laughs> you can email me your most recent census and your renewal. And we'll take a look at the level funded or the fully insured and making sure you're getting the best bang for your buck, especially as we go into 2024. So with that, I am going to put my information up here one more time. I'm going to turn the recording off for the questions. But hey, you guys know now, right? If you haven't heard from your broker, call me. It's okay. We will help. Thank you guys so much for re registering and attending. I am going to see you soon. Bye-bye.